The Women's March was rescheduled last month due to the weather, but today was the day. It was a beautiful day for the Women's March to be back on. A little rescheduling didn't stop men, women, and children from marching through the streets this morning and continuing the fight for change right here in Northwest Arkansas. KNWA's Katie Davila has more. Women deserve to be equal. And I feel like everyone should be equal. It doesn't matter if you're trans or anything. A sea of locals, all different, but standing up for the same thing women's equality. I just think it's really inspirational like, to see all like, women from all ages come together. This year's Women March, a celebration of the history women across America have made. In the state legislature, we have more women than ever. In Congress, we have more women than ever. So I think it's a really great day to celebrate the strides that we've made and the progress that we have to make. Forty years ago, when my husband was involved in politics and decided to change careers, it didn't dawn on me, even though that I loved okay. politics, that I could be a politician. And 40 years later, um, here I am. No matter their age, locals say they're proud to ignite the flame of change. So a lot of people our age don't really go to marches, and so I think it's important for us to um, get involved with this. These are all future voters, and it's important that people stand up and realize what's going on now. And learn it now when you're younger so when you're old enough to vote and stuff like that you have the opportunity while strides have been made wallace says the fight is far from over before me there were so many barriers for women in the workplace and now we're slowly dismantling those barriers and it's just work that we need to continue to do to carry on that was Katie DeVilla reporting. Thank you, Katie. Speakers at the Women's March included politicians, ambassadors in the black community, pastors, and our own KNWA's main anchor, Jennifer Pinante. Fayetteville Mayor Lionel Jordan also spoke and declared today the official Women's March Day in Fayetteville.